Okay guys, welcome back to another LG CX OLED video. Uh, thanks for all the comments and likes on the video. I appreciate it. This TV is incredible and it gets better and better the more I use it. Right now this video is going to be for hooking up your antenna, your digital coax cable, uh, right to the TV, which I'm going to do now. Uh, I just believe that uh, having a nice antenna backup plan is good for local television. So without further ado, let's... Uh, get this antenna hooked up. So what do we do here? Let's go to all settings. Let's go to channel. Let's go to channel tuning. Uh, let's go channel tuning. And we're going to do auto tuning. And we hooked up our coax cable to the back of the TV. I have an antenna in my utility room, which I made a video of, by the way. Check it out. It's a great antenna. Give me all the channels I need. Let's go ahead and start this. And right now we're going to scan your digital TV antenna. Look at that. Fantastic. Getting all kinds of channels. This is fantastic. You can watch channels, button, banner, show the menu. Look at this. We've gotten 35 channels. 30. Look at this. 50. Look at this. 53 channels so far. Fantastic. 53 channels off the air for free. That's the analog. We're not going to find any analog channels. It's going to scan cable TV, which I don't have. I shouldn't have. Guys, all the all the comments about burn-in, that, that's just misinformation. That's uninformed information. That's like a it's like a it's like a it's like a curse to the OLED. Now, yes, back back three, four, or five years ago when OLEDs first came out, yes, those panels were prone to burn in easily because the technology wasn't wasn't uh, improved. It wasn't uh, matured enough. Um, the, the technology now in these TVs, they have what's called pixel shifting. They have what's called panel refreshes. They have uh, logo dimming. And, and also, if you're smart about it, you're not going to crank the vivid mode, uh, full contrast and brightness, and leave it on a still image for five hours. I mean, come on. If you're buying an OLED, you're informed about the technology of what it can do and the quality it's giving you and the, the superior picture quality it can give you. And you're not going to be like throwing up garbage on the TV and leaving it there uh, all day long in full brightness. I mean, come on. You're going to know you take care of your TV. You're going to watch varied, varied content. You're going to, you know, play games where you're not going to keep a HUD on there for five hours at a time and leave it on pause and go have a drink. You're going to be able to change the channel. You're going to be able to, to, to move the camera around, move the, the content around. And also the local dimming. It, the TV knows that if it's a static image on the screen, it's going to darken that particular part of the screen to reduce that. So I'm telling you guys, I've had a, I've had an OLED TV for over two years, the Sony A8F, and it's exactly the same spot that this TV's in. I use it as a computer monitor. I use it as a video game uh, display, and I have had no burn in, no image retention, no issues at all. It's been a, a beautiful experience. It's been the best experience of any kind of gaming. Uh, TV that I've ever had. So I highly recommend getting an OLED and uh, be safe about it. Just just know that the technology is improved. All right, so far we've got 53 antenna channels and 183 internet channels. So let's go done. And then we're going to pull up our home screen. And what do we got here? Recent TV. Let's go TV. And that's giving us channel two. Look at that. Boom. And there's the uh, and there's the audio. We'll mute that audio, and that's going right to my receiver with the uh, ARC arc, and I automatically flipped my receiver to the uh, TV input, which is fantastic. I'm gonna press the guide button, and there it is. Yeah, channel two, perfect. Look at all these channels here. WCC channel four is basketball. I'll get copyright on that one. World of X Games copyright. Uh, what do we got here? TMZ. That shouldn't be copyrighted, right? So we'll go TMZ, and we have Mr. President speaking right now. Let's go ahead and click that guy right there. Beautiful picture. Now let's go to the picture settings. Right now we're in Expert Bright Room, which is fantastic. That is the, the setting that I would recommend uh, for you guys to put the TV on. Let's go through my settings here. Expert Bright Room. We got OLED light at 80, 85 contrast, 50 brightness, 10 sharpness. 50 color, advanced controls, off, off, 
all that good stuff. White balance, I like to keep mine at warm. And peak brightness off. You don't need none of that peak brightness stuff. That doesn't, that's not necessary. Uh, picture options, what do we got? Off, off. Smooth gradation, let's turn that off. We don't want any enhancements. True motion, I don't mess with motion. Uh, it's on default right now, so 10 de -judder, or 0 de -judder and 10 for de-blur. OLED Motion Pro, I haven't even touched this, guys. I, I'm not a big uh, fan of uh, adding motion on top of the original image, so I'm just going to leave this on user. It looks fine. I don't see any kind of jitterness or any choppiness here. It's fine. Um, there's something else I'm going to turn on. General AI service. Look at this. Turn that on. Brightness control on. Auto genre on. Auto genre on. Turn all that. All that on. I want this TV to analyze everything that I watch and improve the quality. That's what's all about the A9 Gen 3 8K processor in this 4K TV. It's incredible. I want this chip to, to maximize any, everything I watch. Uh, so that's all turned on. And let's go back. Now, someone said something about ads on the home screen. Ads. Live Plus. What's this? Turning on Live Plus in your stand display your content, recognize viewing information, provide enhanced viewing experience. Um, you know, fine, whatever. It's, it's not like it's a camera turning on and watching me watch TV. I don't care about that. Advertisement. Limit ad tracking. I turn that on. Everything's fine. Do not sell my personal information. That's turned on. It's fantastic. All right, back out of that. And then we'll go to the guide again. I love this guide. This looks great. Comedy, music, you can categorize all your stuff. Go to current. What is this? Oh, that's the scrolling forward. Channel manager. You can manage the channels. You can edit and stuff. Channel row. Filtering. Mini TV on. That's a mini TV right there. What's this right here? Channels. I kind of like the guide. That's better. Let's go. TV scheduler. So this, what is this here? Create a schedule program. I don't need that. So yeah, the guide is fantastic. It's a very, very cool, very nice interface. Figure skating. Let's see some sports. I know someone wanted to see some kind of motion. Of course we're not. Mr. President's on. Um, what else we got? I don't think there's any sports on right now. You wanted to see some kind of emotion on those, but uh, man, there's so many channels. Look at this. Then it goes right into the internet channel, so right from your local antenna, straight to internet. So you have just tons of content to watch for free. Let's see, I am plus C CSI Miami. That's really low content, low quality content. Look, at it's a small picture. Hey, what's up, Johnny Cage? Linda Nashby. The original Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat. He was also in Iron Man uh, 2. As one of the colonels. And then back to Mr. President. So, I mean, the picture quality is just incredible on this TV, guys. For standard content, just awesome. Uh, hit the home screen button. Oh, that's back out of the guy. So, yeah, I mean, I got my channel right here. I have all my apps on the bottom just nicely needed. Uh, in a row, nicely placed, very clean. The remote control is so responsive to move around. It's, it's just fantastic. It's all my stuff there. Menus. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to my Plex here. Let me see some uh, movie content that I have on my PC. Let's see if it flips over to. Uh, Let's go to 4K movies. So here, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. All right, we want to double check that we have that AI stuff turned on. So we're in Expert Bright Room. All settings. And general, all on. And then general or picture, additional settings, filmmaker mode, auto change. Automatically change the filmmaker mode when the movie content is recognized. 
And filmmaker mode will definitely give you the, uh, the director's intent of how the picture should look. Uh, otherwise, let's uh, fire up uh, Godzilla, which is a cinema movie in 4K. And just to confirm, right now we're on picture mode expert brightroom right now, okay? All right, we'll fire up this movie here. Godzilla, can you the monsters? HDR pops up. And movie begins. Looks incredible. Now let's confirm that the auto shifting has happened. And there it is. Filmmaker mode was automatically activated uh, when watching uh, film content. So that way this movie is going to look exactly the way it should be seen um, when you watch movies, which is awesome. So 95 OLED light, 95 contrast, 50 brightness, 10 sharp, uh, advanced controls, off, on, off, auto, white balance is warm too. Uh, so all that's going to be good to go. Peak brightness is on high. I generally like to keep that on medium. Um, just because uh, I don't want to blow out the uh, the whites. And for all those that might be concerned with burning an image retention, having it on, on a, a medium and not high just means it's less stress on the screen if there's a still image. So uh, that's always good. I do that as well for gaming as well too, for HDR gaming. Keep it on medium. All right, guys, so there it is. Confirmed filmmaker mode will work when switched over to cinema films. Amazing. Uh, let's go back to uh, Netflix and uh, roll with Dolby Vision IQ. I apologize for the dog up there. Um, anyway, so we go up to uh, Advanced uh, Expert Bright Room here, and then we'll flip it. Uh, oops. We'll go play. And oh, let's just confirm now that we have the AI modes on. General, AI service, all on. Everything is on. Brightness control automatically around you will adjust that's going to be that dolby vision iq so we'll press play here dolby vision dolby atmos dolby vision pops up there screen's looking fantastic and uh, we'll look up here and it says dolby cinema so that flipped over that so it should be dolby vision iq this picture is fantastic by the way guys uh, let's go cinema mode here we got uh, 95 oled light 95 brightness 50 brightness 20 sharpness 50 color Advanced controls, we got off, super resolution off, white balance is warm too, peak brightness, medium, that's for Dolby Vision, we'll put that on medium. And then the other one is picture options, we got uh, off, off, now let's put that to off, we don't want smooth gradation on, off there, cinema clear for true motions, it's already in there. So guys, that's Dolby Vision IQ, looking fantastic, picture is incredible, looking amazing, love it. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the the logo luminance adjustment, you know, for those that think there's going to be burning, uh, if you're watching CNN or MSNBC with that logo, uh, the, the the intelligence of this chip will recognize uh, still logos on the screen and automatically uh, drop the brightness of that particular area of the screen uh, to to help uh, eliminate any burning or image retention. So it's an amazing feature. You know the, the the TV is just great. There's there's no I have no issues or any worries about burning because I take care of this TV. I watch very varied content. And I don't leave it on pause for five hours and go grocery shopping and come back and it's still on. It's just crazy. All right, guys. So that is a little overview of the the TV here through uh, through your local antenna, which is amazing. Uh, your filmmaker mode, which is fantastic, automatically switches, and then your Dolby Vision IQ uh, having that uh, light adjustment on the fly is uh, really nice, and that's all a part of the A9 Gen 3 processor in this TV, which is, in fact, an 8K processor in a 4K TV. I can't stress that enough, guys. If you say the difference between C9 and C10, the processing absolutely is the most important part of the TV. Without the processor, the panel and the picture will not be optimized or uh, 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 perform at its fullest uh, uh, you know, peak. So when I say you know Gen 3, that's an 8K processor, they put this processor in their flagship 8K OLED. The same processing chip, and you're getting that on, the, on this 4K OLED. So I'm talking about some serious muscle in the back of this TV. So anything down the road for updates and, and firmware updates and, and upgrades and enhancements, this chip is powerful enough to take advantage of it to maximize this panel, even more so than the C9. So guys, if it's if it's if you can save up for another four or five hundred bucks, definitely worth getting the C10. If you're on the fence about the C9 or C10, gotta go for it, man. Get the latest 
latest technology that they're offering. It's really cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching this. Um, you know, I've been playing Doom Eternal on this TV. Video games look absolutely stunning. Doom Eternal is sick, man. It looks so damn good. Check out my live streams if you want to see me play this game. Or um, if any more comments or questions about this TV, let me know. And I'll throw some more stuff on for you. Otherwise, hit that like button. Thank you for watching all my previous uh, CX videos. I love this TV. I'm so happy I have it. And I'm loving it every single time I use it. It's great. All right, guys, real quick, just watching the figure skater here move around the ice. And she's spinning around. And there's no motion blur, no jitter, no trails. Just fantastic, clean, accurate, fast, wonderful pitcher, guys. So sports, no problemo on this OLED TV. Anything fast motion, no problemo. Real quick, guys, just look at the settings. And we're on expert bright mode, same thing. And with that motion, where are we at? Down to the bottom, I think it was picture options. Nope. Uh, picture options. True motion is user. It's just standard user mode. Zero and ten. So that's it, guys. Love this TV, guys. Enjoy it. CX, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, you have a good day. Thanks for watching again. Home Theater Rules and CX OLED from LG. Wrath out. See ya.